Hey everyone! In this video, you'll learn all about text to image generators like Imagine, Dolly 2, and Partee. The image on the left is a real photo of a teddy bear. The one on the right was generated from a text to image system using the text prompt below in blue. That's pretty cool. We'll show real images with a photo style border and generated images without the border. These image generators are based on large language models, which are big neural networks that learn to predict the next word in a sentence. And if you saw our short video on large language models, you'll remember that they can do some pretty amazing things, like translate languages, write poems, create recipes, and even generate computer code. But can they draw pictures? Let's give it a try. We'll give this as an input to GPT-3, a large language model from OpenAI. Let's provide the first row of the picture, telling it to make it out of dots and O's. Hey, that worked. It's a star. Let's try another shape, a pattern of characters that looks like a vertical line. Or a triangle. This is cool. The language model knows how to draw basic shapes. But how about more complex images? You can't represent an image like this with just dots and O's. So let's add pixels to the language model's vocabulary. We'll start with the lower res version so you can see the pixels. And let's replace each pixel with the name of its color. Now it looks more like language. You can even imagine this printed on the pages of a book. The language model will read these words from left to right and from top to bottom. And if the words red, green, brown, white aren't expressive enough, we could represent any color as a word that specifies its RGB value. Okay, now we can represent an image in a language model, but the model doesn't really understand the image or how it relates to English words and phrases. We can teach this knowledge by providing some training data. For example, lots of raspberry images, sunsets, pancakes, and just about everything else. In fact, we'll train it on a billion captioned images from the internet. We can now use a large language model to generate images. We just give it a prompt like this, a raspberry image, and it will generate the pixels one at a time. But there's a problem with this approach. Images have millions of pixels, but today's large language models can handle only a few thousand words at a time. That means we'll have to be a bit more clever to make these images fit. So instead of representing every pixel with a word, let's break the image into a 32 by 32 grid of square patches. And we'll give each patch a number according to the pattern of pixels in that patch. Very similar patches get the same number. For example, all the white patches get the number zero in this example. Let's call these numbers visual words. This is the approach used in Part T a leading text to image system from Google. They say an image is worth a thousand words. Well, Partee literally represents an image with a thousand words, 1,024 to be exact. Each word in this page ranges from zero to nine to make it easier to visualize. In reality, Partee uses about 8,000 different values for each word. Okay, now let's generate some new images. We'll start with this prompt, squirrel reaching for a nut. This is what we give the language model's input. It will then start outputting visual words one at a time from left to right and top to bottom. Each visual word depends on the previous ones. Let's take this one for example. If we looked only at the most recent words, we'd predict one. But if you expand the window to include the previous row, you would notice that it's changing to sixes in that position. And the language model will consider all of the previous visual words along with our text prompt in blue. If we keep going, we'll get a 32 by 32 grid of visual words. Next, Partee decodes these visual words into eight by eight image patches. And if you connect them together, you can see a squirrel reaching for a nut. Pretty cool. It's pretty low res, so Partee adds an upsampler to convert it to a high res image. A nice feature of language models is that you can get different results if you run it multiple times with the same input. Here are a few more examples. Now let's try some more interesting prompts. Can squirrels swim? Let's ask Partee. I guess they can. Did prehistoric squirrels like nuts? 
Of course I did. This is pretty fun to play with. Partee can even make squirrel-shaped houses. Now there's lots of images of art on the internet. If you train on enough of these, the model can learn artistic styles by associating the caption text with visual words. Here's the squirrel rendered by Leonardo da Vinci, or painted by Van Gogh. An intricate wood carving of a squirrel on a cathedral door. I think these are quite beautiful and very creative. Partee can learn just about any form of art, including latte art. I like how the latte art squirrel on the left is reaching for a real nut just outside the cup. I hope you've enjoyed this video on text image generation. Stay tuned to learn about image diffusion, which powers Imagine and Dolly 2.